Hello again, everyone. We are currently partway through Moon Door 3, um, which, as you can see, is Chloe's experience at the Genus Royal Academy. In the last episode, we walked around and gave all the students the flyers from our teacher. We met the president of student council. And now, if I remember correctly, at the moment, we're searching for him. So we're trying to look around and find him. So I sang some weird song into my ear out of nowhere. Something about lunar threads in a night with a mustache. I can get the darn thing out of my head now, so I can't concentrate on drawing. Oh, are you guys searching for that devil too? Same here. He's in real trouble when I get my hands on him. Yeah, I remember now he jumped off the roof when we sent Sieg after him. So we're currently trying to find Lecter. I'm starving, so I'll head over to the cafeteria and get some grub. But Mr. Effort's hanging around outside the dorm, so I'm stuck. I'll be in trouble if he finds me. Why? Why would Mickey be in trouble? I have a feeling he's at the old schoolhouse, but we're gonna walk around and explore a little bit first. Aha! It's almost time for the examinations to begin. I should probably start seriously studying for them. If you want to score well, it's never too early to start studying. Oh, I walked right into two girls. Felicity finally seems to have decided that she wants to be the leader of our club. I thought I might have to use a certain word that is rather effective on her if she didn't show any signs of relenting. But thanks to that boy who came past just before, I didn't need it after all. I rather wanted to be the one to deliver the final push, though. Okay, so we came back through here. I kept saying I didn't want to be the head of the club, but no matter how many times I did it, Raina just kept bringing it up. And as if that wasn't annoying enough, some boy walked past earlier yawning and telling me I wasn't good enough to be head. What does he know? I've never even talked to him. So pissed off, I think I'm just going to take the plunge and do it. I'll show everyone I'll be a great club head. Bring it on. one way to motivate her. He's a real troublemaker. Hmm? You're looking for Lecter? He was on that bench reading a book till not long ago. Then he just up and disappeared. I wonder where he went. We are wondering the same thing. Found him. I stumbled upon him. We found you. You're not getting away this time. It's time to come quietly. Um, what exactly is that you're reading? It's Kitty Talk for Dummies. Have you been sitting here reading that all this time? <laughs> I just closed my eyes and kept running forward through a vast, empty world, living the hardest that I could. It wasn't that running would achieve anything, and it wasn't as if I would suddenly be able to leave the ground and fly by doing so. It was just that if I stood still, the small, perfectly enclosed garden around me would suddenly feel too uncomfortably vast. Lecter was right. Just what had I come here to do? After that, Chloe decided to join the fencing club so that the skills Julia taught her didn't grow rusty during her time at the academy. She also found herself being roped into helping Jill and Hans search for the nefarious Lecter quite often, too. Then, roughly a month after this all began, everyone's favorite time of the academic year finally arrived. Right, so here I need to use this formula. Wait, this isn't right! What am I doing wrong? Exam season, huh? Students sure have it rough. Aren't you a student? <laughs> Technically one too, you know. Technically. You are going to study, aren't you? Well, well, I'll take that as a no. 
Oh, here you are. An angel shines her majesty upon us. Oh, Hans. Come on, Lecter. It's time for you to hit those books. But I've studied for a whole half second today already. I really don't think... Oh, Lucy. Why can't I get you to do that to me? Wait, no. This is no time for fantasizing. I need to study. <laughs> He's sleeping. We're finally free! I knew this place wouldn't go easy on us. Those were really hard. I feel like I just want to curl up in bed and sleep for a week now. Oh, Chloe! How'd the exams go for you? Well, alright, I suppose. Now, now. There's no need to be modest. We know you probably finished in half the time and got all the answers right to boot. The smile says it all. I wish I had your brain. Sure we can't swap? This isn't the place to be loitering. You're stopping people from getting to the stairs. Oops. We're sorry. Leo's kind of a butthead. Oh, and one more thing. The student's council student council's work resumes today. I will be expecting both of you in the council room at 2 o'clock for a meeting. Don't even think about being late. Yes, sir. As for you, Chloe, you may do as you see fit. Rude. Um, I'm guessing that's his way of saying he'd like you to come along, too? You might not technically be a member, but you're our honorary lector catcher. We kind of need you at this point. I'll bet he's acknowledged you because of that, because believe me, that's a real special talent you've got there. I'm not sure I've done enough to warrant that, personally. If it's okay for me to go, maybe I will, though? It sounds like fun. You might be a bit disappointed if you go along expecting fun. We'd be happy to have you, though. Fun or no fun. So if you're up for it, so are we. Nice, let's go get ourselves some lunch, then we can head over there. All right. Yo, guys. Whoa, Lecter's here? What's the occasion? Hey, you say that as if I'm never here. I'm always here doing nothing, aren't I? At least he's being honest about it. Lucy, I'm so happy to see you again. You're looking well, Hans. How did your exams go? Uh, well, I'd appreciate it if we avoided that fine subject. Much like how you avoided all the subjects you were supposed to study then. Can you stop wasting time and take your seats? We have work to do. Sorry. Well, we're all here, so let's get started. Alright, our first order of the day is talking about everyone's dreams for the future. You three can go first. Speak of your highest aspirations so that we all might hear. <laughs> Lecter gets beat up a lot. Please continue, Leo. First, I will go over the student council's main orders of business for the year. After that, I will discuss our future activities in more detail, and then we can start to work on allocating the budget. Jill, you spill first. Tell us what desires burn within that pure, sisterly heart of yours. The desire to topple your presidency? <gasps> As you can see, this fool will be of no use at all to the proceedings. Expect diddly squat from him. Oh, Lecter. When he's not here, he causes trouble. When he's here, he causes trouble. 
So, moving along, if we go by our usual pattern for the year, next month will be... Ugh, I'm exhausted. Trying to find Lecter is exhausting, but somehow not having to do it ended up being just as tiring. But at least I was finally reunited with my beloved Lucy. I was dying of loneliness from not getting to see her during the exam period. You liar. You went and met her this morning, didn't you? Something about seeing her before your exams making you do better in them? <laughs> You're right. I saw you too. Oh, hey. Just what I needed. A few people who look like they've got nothing to do. We're a hell of a lot busier than you are. We need to go around and meet with the heads of all the Academy's clubs and start drafting up a budget. Oh, okay. I guess it's up to you, Chloe. Me? Um, what is this? It's something that needs to be delivered to the Mayor of Ruan. Leo's not going to take no for an answer either, so there you go. Enjoy. That sounds very much like it's your job. Mine? You sure you're not mistaking me for someone else? Oh, and Chloe? You've got a feather on your head. I do? I guess that must have been Sieg's. He did say it was almost time for him to start molting, come to think of it. How long has that been there? I hope it wasn't there during the exams. That would be so embarrassing. And she's totally glossing over the fact that he can speak to Sieg. You know about Sieg? And did you actually talk to him? Okay, good luck delivering that envelope. Talk about an enigma. Um, Chloe? You are aware you've just had Lecter's work unceremoniously dumped on you, right? Also, while I hate to be the one to break it to you, there wasn't a feather on your head. He did it again. Come on, you can't let him get away with this. You've got to go after him and force him to take it back. You shouldn't have to do his work for him. I don't disagree, but I'm not sure she's going to find him if she goes after him now. He's got enough of a head start that we're probably talking, like, what, five hours to find him? Six? I, I think it would be faster for me to just go and do the job myself, wouldn't it? All I have to do is deliver it to the Mayor of Ruan, after all. Aww. We were kind of hoping you could help us with our work, too. I'm sorry, Jill. Aw, oh, don't worry about it. No big deal. Do you know the way to the mayor's place? If you don't, I can help with that. Thanks, but I know the way. I've been to visit him once before, actually. Huh? Really? Sounds like you should be fine, then. Well, take care of monsters on the way. Thank you, I will. Well, this is goodbye for now, I guess. Later. Don't be out too late. I won't. I don't remember which direction Ruan is. Yeah, everybody's hungry after exams. I'm not surprised. Why do you have that envelope? It was forced on you by Lecter, wasn't it? It's fine, of course. I'll make sure it's delivered. Head south on the highway to reach Ruan. The mayor's mansion is on the east side of the town's southern block. Don't get lost. I, I won't. Thank you. I wonder if this is supposed to be payment for doing this errand or something? About time for him to make his move, and what move would that be? I ended up hitting him again. Why did I do it? Every time I see his face, I just feel like punching him. Ah. Hmm? What's this? 
Is it meant to be some way to climb up on top of the roof? Probably. How do you think he escapes so easily? Okay, so I have to actually go talk to the Dean before I can leave. I don't think I can actually go onto the roof, which is kind of sad. It'd be cool if I could. But no! Now he wants me to draw him! He wants it colored too! Ugh. Dang Lecter. Starting next week, there's going to be a series of lectures over at Zeiss Central Factory that are open to the public. Fortunately, the exams are over now, so I should be able to go and take a long... Take a look during a free day. I can't read today. It's going to be a real eye-opening experience, I'm sure. Does Dennis end up working at the factory? I don't remember his name, but I feel like that's something they would hint at. Nobody in the dorm. I hope people are just gonna let me wander around when they know there's monsters. Like, yeah, watch out for monsters! What? <laughs> Sucks when you're there judging me! I'm not here being lazy, for the record. I'm just way too angry to be grading papers right now, so I came here to cool off. He really gets under everybody's skin. Like, he has a way of ticking off everybody. Ricky. It's weird Anton's never by himself. of writing a letter. Who's it to? Duh, Lucy. I can't let Hans get ahead of me in the race for her heart. Oh boy. <laughs> I thought they were a little difficult, to be honest. Really? I'm rather confident in my performance. I can hardly wait for the results to be issued. This is the president of the Academy Student Council. What a fine young man. How fitting for such an esteemed academy. He's very good at fooling people, I guess. Who is this person and why does he look like Lecter? He's laying on the charm, for sure. I say, you're a student. Why are you in here? She's not here at the moment, though.
You've got plenty more to look forward to. I wonder where she went. She ran away. Because of Lecter. I know I have to talk to the Dean, so I'm purposely avoiding his room right now. Archery club. I have some experience with the sport, you see. I think it'd be good to go back to it. Sounds fun. I like archery. Hi, Chloe. Just going around all the club captains, like I said earlier. It's an easier job than trying to find Lecter, at least. But hey, what isn't? Well, he's really easy to find right now. He's downstairs. <laughs> Tricked her into being club head. Now she has to deal with all the bureaucracy. Oh, good day, Chloe. Can I help you? Actually, I have some business that I need to take care of outside the academy, so I came to ask for permission to leave the grounds. Oh, I see. Naturally, I have no objections to granting you permission. Thank you very much, Dean Collins. Still, I've been quite pleased to see you finally adjusting to life here. I've heard plenty of stories about you running around the grounds lately. Well, I've been helping the student council with their work from time to time. And, well, a certain element of their work does involve a lot of running. I see. Well, if that is all, I should probably get to work. Of course, take care. She looks so much more chipper now. I suppose I have him to thank for that. Yeah, unfortunately you do. <laughs> making sure there's nobody I'm missing before we actually leave the grounds. I'm looking for Lecter. I was right on his tail, but just as I got here, I lost sight of him. I swear that guy's impossible. <laughs> he really likes avoiding Mr. Effort. I'm not sure why. But he keeps getting stranded places because he doesn't want to walk past him. I wonder if he's still sitting here or if he went somewhere else now. Now he's gone! went and got permission, now he's gone. I wonder if we'll be able to find him again. Probably not. I'm guessing I won't be able to find him again. It's like we found him once and that's it. Oh, here he is. I lost Ricky. So 
hiding down in the corner. Everybody else is in the same spot, but he's gone. Oh cool, I actually can climb up here. Yeah, I don't know where he is now. He's gone. I saw Electra playing around with a white bird a while ago, can you believe that? I saw him doing it from out the window, so as soon as the exam was over I came to look, but looks like he's gone, and so has the bird. Bummer. So yeah, he can communicate with Sieg. Which I find highly intriguing. I don't know where I went now. Dang. Okay, we're actually gonna end this episode here. And then in the next one we will head on to Ruan to deliver that letter and see where else the story takes us. I'm actually thoroughly enjoying all this side story with Lecter. Makes me very happy. <laughs> uh. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will catch you next time, and I hope you have a great day.